Hi, and welcome to the Beer Temple. I am Chris Quinn, and today is a special episode because we have a beer that was sent to us from fan of the show, Thomas Whalen. So first and foremost, before I go further, I want to say thank you so much, uh, Thomas or Tom, whatever you prefer to be called. Uh, it always means a lot to Margaret and I when people take the initiative and actually spend the time and effort and money, frankly, to uh, send beer to us for us to taste. So I really appreciate it. Uh uh, Thomas had had asked a couple I think in the past if we're gonna have some Portland beers on um, it is one of the areas of the country I think I've mentioned in the past that people ask us the most about um, you know when are you gonna have more Portland beers on um, and you know we're interested in, in more stuff from Portland uh, Chicago does get some stuff from Portland but not as much uh, especially considering how much Brewing is going on in Portland and Oregon in general. Um, we are going to be getting Deschutes here in Chicago, so that's very exciting for us. But for now, not too much representation from Portland uh, outside the big, big guys uh, like Rogue and Widmer Brothers, stuff like that. But today, uh, we have a real cool brew pub i guess it's it's also a obviously a commercial brewery from portland oregon called hopworks urban brewery or hub as they are referred to uh been around for about five years in portland and they're very eco-friendly i think they're a carbon neutral brewery if i remember correctly they also have not just like one or two but like almost 10 or something like that organic beers this being one of them this is their ipa the flagship ipa and i think it's probably the flagship beer of the brewery uh it is i believe the only beer i've ever had from them in the past uh, i had it in a bomber and i was very excited to get this in a can um, i've mentioned over and over again how popular canning is for craft breweries these days how it's an excellent vessel for transporting beer um, in many ways better than glass uh, you just have to use glassware when you drink it you know that's that's really the only downside but really you're not going to be drinking a good craft beer right from the bottle anyway or else you shouldn't be um, you know unless you absolutely have no other options um, so uh, this beer is their organic IPA. It is just called the Hop Works Organic IPA, uh, six and a half percent. So you're definitely in that higher end American style IPA. Um, very much a West Coast style IPA, from what I remember. Um, they're using uh, the you know the Sea Hops, uh, Cascade, Centennial. Um, uh, at least I don't know if they're using any more than that. Um, so. Oftentimes, what I get from the Portland IPAs typically is a little bit more woody, a little bit more, uh, I say, resinous of a, of a hop character. As you go down the coast, they kind of get a little bit more bright and tropical. Um, you know, it's just a style, but always very hop forward, those West Coast IPAs. Um, this beer is uh, certainly hazy and unfiltered beer. Really nice dark um, orange character, some, some hints of brown almost to it. Nice fluffy head. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, almost exactly what I was describing. So it's a big hop punch. You're getting that, to me, that classic centennial orange character from the hop, but you're also really getting a lot of that uh, malt backing as well. I wouldn't say it's as balanced as maybe like an East Coast, you know, East Coast style, you know, they nowadays, Beers of all styles are made on, in all parts of the country. But, you know, the East Coast is known for the more balanced approach to IPA. Um, you know, it's not that far. It's, it's definitely hop forward, but I do still get some really nice biscuity, um, almost like an orange marmalade on, on toast character to it. Um, there is definitely some resinous, some wood in there as well. Really nice. So, this beer's a little bit cold. I mean, this is perfect drinking temperature for this beer. Um, and in fact, I don't know if you noticed, I took some pretty big gulps, much bigger than I normally do on the show. 
uh, and, and it was just very, very drinkable. Um, it's much lighter body than I thought from all of that malt biscuity character coming through. Um, it, it is certainly uh, a resinous and it has, um, you know, like a, like a sweet orange character to it, um, along with that kind of wood bark um, and, and just kind of almost like sap. Uh, pine sap quality to it. Not quite like a pine needle, but just a little sappiness. And uh, it finishes pretty clean. It's certainly a dry beer, not bone dry, but, but drier, uh, not, not a lot of sweetness. And then you've got a really interesting, almost like prickly orange bitterness that comes in slowly and slowly, and it, it's still kind of building. Uh, I think this is a 75 IBU beer, so that's a lot of bitterness. You know that there's some substantial malt there to be able to back uh, up all those uh, IBU. But this is a great beer. I really like it. Very drinkable, very food friendly. I want some kind of hearty food here. I want like a burger with some nice fat to it or cheese or something that kind of help. Um, you know, I think that the bitterness would really work well with that, really kind of cut through it. Um, obviously, cheddars or, or bigger, sharper cheeses would go very well too. Uh, like this beer, I'm going to give it a 90. I think it's a, a, a tasty brew. Um, thank you so much, Thomas, for sending it to me. Uh, and thank all you guys, as always, for, for watching. You, know, you don't need to, to send in beer uh, to be near and dear to my heart. You don't even need to leave a comment, although I always appreciate when you guys do. Um, just drop a line at craftbeertemple.com. If you're really feeling up to it, you can leave a review on iTunes. I you guys know I'm kind of weird about that. So if you haven't done it yet and you watch a lot of these shows, do me a favor, leave a review. It like makes my day. I, I really love when you guys do that. So without further ado, I think I'm going to leave for now. I'll be back. Um, and uh, go have some great organic Portland IPA. Um, I guess, you know, until next time, I've got some great beer to drink and hopefully you do too.